Hello Internet, welcome to Jean Geral. I am Jean Silva and I'm talking about the Nikon T750, about its menu system. Uh, we are in this series talking about the custom set and menu and let's talk about that. Today we're going to talk about the letter E, bracketing and flash. Then we're going to uh, work now with external uh, lighting and with it on camera. Well, let's press OK to have the first, the first option, which is flash sync speed. In this case, it's 200 of a second. If we press OK, I can choose all the options. But it's nice to leave it in at least 200 uh, a second because uh, if you if you need uh, uh, more than uh, if you if you are for example 100 and need more maybe you're gonna have problems. If you are in 200 of a second, then you can use the others down here. But if you are for example in 100 of a second and need 200 of a second, uh, you're gonna have problems with the camera. Well, uh, this part tells you that you can record up to 200. If you, uh, if you have an external flash connected to the camera. Uh, the camera will not allow, it will be blocked for you to, to change the shutter speed more than that. The problem is when you, you are using the flash outside the camera, maybe with a radio trigger, using a manual, uh, a manual mode, uh, you will be able to change it for more than 200 of a second. And this is something that you have to pay attention to. And if you go be, uh, beyond 200 of a second, uh, you, you're going to see that your picture will be a partly lightened by the, the, the flash and partially uh, black because the sync has to be 200. More than that, the, the flash won't be able to uh, light the whole sensor of the camera. More than 200 of a second, the only par parts of the sensor will be illuminated. And uh, up here we have a high sync speed for flash, That's, which is another configuration. Well, the next option is flash share speed, which in my case is six of a second. It means that when you use, in, when, when you are taking picture in aperture priority and P mode, the camera will choose for you your uh, share speed. And if uh, you set, in my case, six, uh, six of a second, the share speed won't be uh, less than that. But you can choose a, a, a smaller number. I think it's 60 is the best, or maybe sometimes, depending on the lens, 30 of a second is okay. The next option is flash control for built-in flash, which you can use this flash here in the camera, but uh, more with that lens here. Well, if you press OK, we have the first option, which is TTL, uh, which means through the lens. Uh, when you have flash connected here, an external flash, or uh, if you have a, a radio flash with TTL support or ITTL support, and you choose TTL here, and you have to choose TTL here in the flash too, almost those configurations have, have to be performed in a camera and in external flash, if you use an external flash. Well, if it's set for TTL, uh, it will obey the configuration in the camera, it will be set here. In manual flash, you will control the flash manually. Then you have to change in the flash here manually, or you can uh, control this flash here. If you go to options here, you have full, which is go you, you're going to use the full power of the flash. Or if you are using, for example, a radio, uh, a radio flash, but you're going to control this in the radio flash. But here you can uh, choose all the options, uh, starting with full power. A repeating flash, you, you will use the flash to pop up, to, to fire many times, uh, uh, creating like a strobe-like feeling. Uh, and here you, you, you can have the, the configurations for that, the output, the times you want it to flash, and the frequency. Uh, the output is the power. You, go, you can go to uh, one-fourth of a power and the, the times will change. This is going to be used with this flash here, or either this if it's in the, on the camera. The next option that we have here for flash is commander mode. The commander mode, basically you're going to control an external flash using this built-in flash here. Let's go to uh, the options. The built-in flash, if I choose TTL, it will, it will try to match the, the configurations in the camera. 
And here, I can change it for TTL or manual. And if I am in manual or in, in uh, TTL, I can change the, the, the uh, compensation exposure for flash. It's very, it's very bright. I will try to, to decrease this brightness. And here I, I can choose group A. And I have to set group A here in the flash, otherwise it won't work if I'm using group A, for example. Uh, actually built in, a built in flash is this flash. Or a uh, built uh, group B, I have to set group B in this flash if I want to, to, to work it in group B. And, uh, and also I have to change the channel. If the channel is not the same, it will not work. So uh, those are very, they, they are advanced uh, um, programs that I have to use with a camera and an external flash. Okay, uh, I said wrongly, built-in flash, I'm going to control this flash, okay? But this will pop up and will control this flash. The light that will be sent here is very low, just to fire the, this flash here. Well, now let's move on to the next option. I think it's over for this part. Is exposure compensation for flash. If I press OK, I can choose to, to, to do the entire frame. If I expose, which is back here, the, the, the control, uh, the compensation will be for the whole picture. Or if I, I may choose to, to compensate for only the background, because sometimes when you are using flash, the subject will be uh, very bright and the, the the background will be very dark, and you can compensate only the background for that. The mod modeling flash, uh, which in my case is off, basically it will fire the other flashes in order to test to test them before you take the picture in, and you can see if everything is all right. Well, auto bracketing set is uh, if, I, if if I don't know if you remember what bracketing means. Bracketing is when you take um, uh, three to five pictures. Uh, in an underexposed and uh, in a medium exposure and overexposed. And here you can choose to have a picture like this, th those pictures taken with the auto exposure or flashing sim simultaneously, or you, you're going to take those pictures only compensating the, the, the auto exposure, or only the flash, or only the white balance, or only the ADL. Bracketing ETL is active delighting uh, that can, when you have different exposures, one part of the photograph is bright and the other is dark, and the camera will try to capture as much as information as possible in the bright and the dark areas. Of course, all of these settings we're talking about are related to flash. Now, the, the last one is the bracketing order, in which in my case is normal. Uh, it means that the, the picture will start from dark, normal, to overexposure. Or you can uh, reverse it, it will start with, with uh, bright, middle and underexposed. You can start from bright, from brightness to darkness or darkness from bright, brightness. You will choose this option. Well, now let's talk about the controls.